All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakakadash. Next, double honor to the elders of GMS, a great millstone that rule well and continually teach on down to your brothers. Peace of us unto the elect. The Bayasha, the Wada, the House of David, Shalom, Akim, Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Brock it down to the elect. All right. So, Khan, I'm starting the first precept. This is uh, Revelation chapter 22, verse 19. And if any man shall take away from the words of the book of this prophecy, God shall take away his part out of the book of life and out of the holy city and from the things which are written in this book. Verse 20. He will testify these things. Say, surely I come quickly. Amen. Even so, come Lord, Yahushua, so come. We know that amen in the Hebrew, um, you would you would pronounce it as a, you, you would say, um, aman, all right? So, and this is what we do in our prayers, okay? So, when it talks about um the book of this prophecy, it's talking about, you know, whether it's um Old Testament or New Testament. At the end of the day, this is the book of life that we're reading out of. So, you cannot take or add, you know? This is the job and duty as us, the prophets. We are the prophets of the Lord, so this is our job, this is our duty to not take out of the book or to add, you know. All right, so, like I said, yeah. That's why scripture also talk about, um, let me see. Yeah, let me get it out right quick. I might as well. This is Isaiah chapter uh, 28. And hey, man, these people that are negative towards us, that, that um, hey, they're going to be part of the house of stubble, man. You know, the house of Esau is going to be of stubble. So these people that, you know, curse us out, that are negative towards us, you know, hey, we're not going to spare no feelings in that day. Hey, scripture talks about slay utterly, you know. So that's what's going to happen. And hey, you see, these people that keep on celebrating these holidays, man, you already see that that judgment is, is coming, you know? You know? You want to celebrate these holidays? Then hey, there you have it. The Lord is going to bring judgment right at the front door, you know? Like, you know, like that elder from uh, North Carolina likes to say, uh, in the news, you know, yeah. This man, there's there's a lot of stuff happening in the news, man. And the water to that elder, cause he always brings it up, man. You know, GMS North Carolina. Shout out to that elder. Shout out to that brother. Also South Carolina, you know. The elder in South Carolina as well. But kind of Isaiah twenty eight verse ten for precept must be upon precept, precept upon precept, line upon line, line upon line. Here little and there little. Con. The scripture also talk about how um basically the Lord is gonna make our forehead strong against their forehead. You know. Let me see if I can find that. And that's what we do. By where these, you know, scriptures coming out, by where these precepts coming out, hey, our forehead is is being made strong, man, you know. Let's see. I don't know if it's a connection problem, but oh, here it is. Um, it's in Ezekiel. That's a spirit because I wanted to bring out a scripture in Ezekiel, but kind of Ezekiel uh, three and eight. It reads, "Behold, I have made thy face strong against their faces, and thy forehead strong against their foreheads." You see, so you know we know the face, like the forehead. That's that's a part of the face. You know, so this is what's happening by way of these scriptures coming out. You know, there's a scripture I also wanted to talk about, um, about, uh, you know, this devil, um, Esau, man, Esau, Edom, you know, scripture tells about how, um, let me see if I can find it. Because there's a scripture where it says, uh, thou citizen speaketh against thy brother. 
or something like that, roughly paraphrasing, you know, but yeah, there's another one, and Obadiah, I believe it said, I'll tell you, uh, let me see, yeah, it says, uh, neither shouldest thou have stood in the crossway, so this, this man stands up against us, and he sits against us, man, you know, talking that shit, you know, let me see, yeah, in the day that thou stuttest on the other side, you see, so this man, he look, he, seem, he he seems to be, uh, you know, you might look at him, or the spirit might, but nah, he don't seem to be all that nice, man, this man seeks to slay us, man, that's, that's, that's this man, okay, that's this man, Esau for you, okay, and that one where it says, uh, speakers, because, you know, that's what he does. That's that's that one is in Psalms, you know. Thou sittest and speakers against thy brother, yeah. That's all this man has is ill intentions, you know. That's why we can't wait to escape, man. We can't wait to, to you know, be be set free at last, you know. But Con, let me bring this out, because like I said, I wanted to bring out a scripture in Ezekiel as well. This is Ezekiel chapter twenty two, verse eight. It reads, Thou hast despised mine holy things and hast profaned my Sabbaths. You see, in one way that Israel profanes the Lord, um, one of the Lord's day being the Sabbath, that's a, that's a that's like a high holy day. That's that's a that's a holy day you're supposed to keep. You're not supposed to despise it. You're supposed to keep it to the best of your ability. For for what is it is a rest day, man. Alright, so one way that Israel has profaned the Lord's Sabbath is by uh, cooking. When well, you're not supposed to, you're supposed to just rest. You're not supposed to heat up stuff on the stove, neither in the microwave or in the oven. It's supposed to be a rest day. And like the elders say, you're not supposed to have sex on that day. And then, you know, these Jakes, they think you can just do that. Because they, their spirit is just to where they want to party all day. That's Jake. That's a, that's their spirit. That's a spirit. That's a, that's a, that is the spirit of Jake. They want to have sex all day with their woman and shit. So they think it's it's allowed on the Sabbath when you're supposed to rest. Okay. So I'm read that again. That's Ezekiel. Con. It's um, Ezekiel 22 and 8. It says, Thou hast despised mine holy things and hast profaned my Sabbaths. Yeah, what is the holy things of the Lord, man? Well, the days that he created. There, there's certain high holy days that the Lord has created, man. Such as the Passover... You know, the Feast of Tabernacles, the Feast of Dedication. You know, uh, there's, there's plenty more, you know. And the Sabbath day, man, we have to keep it, okay. We can't deny the name of the Lord. That's one thing, too. You can't deny the name of the Lord as well. You know. Let me see if I can find that. Because we have to be there for the Lord as well, you know. He's always there for us. That's an easy thing for him to do, for him to be there for us. But for us to be there for him, it seems like that's a hard thing for, for Jake, man. But, hey, you know, Khan, this is uh, Proverbs uh, 30 and uh, and 7. Two things have I required of thee, deny me them, not before I die, remove far from me vanity and lies. Give me neither poverty nor riches. Feed me with food convenient for me. So that's what we have to do for the Lord. Okay. We have to keep him company. Hey, it's just with the prophets as well. With the servants of the Lord, you know. You give a cup to one of these, um, you know, water, some roughly paraphrasing. Let me see if I can find that. My name or something, so we come in the name of the Lord, two or three witnesses, you know. So say, feed me with food convenient for me, right? So we're gonna go into the New Testament. This is Mark chapter 9, verse 41. And one way we're um feeding the Lord with food convenient for him is being there for his people as well, and also you know, um, staying true by keeping his word, you know. This is uh, Mark chapter 9, verse 41, and, and by way of serving him too. Okay, 
This is Mark chapter 9, verse 41. For whosoever shall give you a cup of water to drink in my name, because he belong to Mashiach, verily I say unto you, he shall not lose his reward. Con. And when you feed the Lord with food convenient for him, by way of um serving him, we do these videos. You know, we go live. Hey, we have a reward coming for us, man. We have a reward prepared for us, man. And laid up in heaven. Like, you know, basically a crown. You know. So this is what's happening. And you know it's Jake, man. We have that flavor. We got the salt, man. We we're the salt of the earth. You know, we got we got the juice. So, you know, us Jake, we come up with, you know, various topics. You know, we come up with uh we have a lot of things to say. We we come up with titles for videos, you know. So how much more back then when it was more physical? Now things are like, you know, spiritual because we're able to do things off the web. Sometimes we might not show our face, but we're still there through our spirit. You know, we still speak through our spirit. But the point is that back then it was more physical because we didn't really have these phones. And hey, we was there with the Lord, man, physically. So we're, we're right now, hey, I, you know, the reason I'm saying it's not physical that much right now is because we're, we're not present with our Lord right now. I mean, the spirit, yeah, but physically we're not here. We're, yeah, sloppy, yeah, physically we're not here with the Lord right now. You know, because hey, he's uh, the Lord is, is in the heavens right now. You know. But we're waiting for him to um, come back down, you know. So that's going to happen soon. And uh, the Lord is, you know, as you know, he, he's separating the sheep from the goats, man. And, and we hope to be part of the sheep, man. You know, that hopeful, like, we, you know, Ottawa is a, uh, we're the sheep. Like, the scripture reads, my sheep hear my voice. So that's a heavy scripture, too. Okay. So, hey, man, let me see what else I can get. This is uh second Ezra chapter eight verse uh let me see Second Ezra chapter eight verse fifty for many great miseries shall be done to them that in the latter time shall dwell in the world because they have walked in great pride. So the Lord is gonna have people just dwell in this world. Because they have walked in great pride. In the latter time, it says what? In the latter time shall dwell in the world. <laughs> you see? Like I always say, there's a difference between the earth itself and then the world. You know, you have the world of Israel. But, you know, you're going to have people that, you know, they're going to follow after Esau. You know, they're going to be in the world of misery, man. They're going to be in the world of, of torture. You know, because hey, these devils, they're already butthurt, man. They're already hurt. So, you yeah. know, this is what's going to happen, man. And we, we hope to be delivered, man, from this world, from this present evil world. We want to get out of here already. All right. It says, but understand thou for thyself and seek out the glory for such as be like thee. Con. So the elect eight were like minded. That's what it says. For such as be like thee. Con. You know, so it's all about those that um. Those that have the names, man. That's what it's about as well. Hey, you have to have the names of Yahweh Shem Hashem, man. You have to have the names of, um, you know, the Most High, the Heavenly Father, and His Only Begotten Son. All right. Which the names are what? Yahweh and Yahweh Shah. Yahweh, Yahweh Shah. So I would down, man. It there. I don't want to say ratify it. And in closing, I want to give all praises, on and glory to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah, Bashem, Rokokotash. Next up, honest to the elders of GMS, a great milestone there, rule well. And continue to see John Dancing and Brothers. Peace of us unto the light, the Bayesha, the Uddah, the Hussain David, Shalom, Akim.